Hi, Leo. Hello, Leo gang. All right, thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel, Yancey's Universe. I'm doing your tail reading for September. I'm open for personal readings. Book a personal reading with me. Follow me on all my social media. Donate to the channel. Donate to my cash app. That allows me to be here more often and as often as I am. Also, check out my second channel, Dark Goddess. That's the journey to self-love. That's going to um, help you through twin flame, karmic, all types of soulmate, um, manifestation, money magic, love magic. It's, it's lit over there, okay? I have a lot of things for you, mantras, um, healings, my singing bowl, just a lot, okay? Because we do tarot, but that's only one part of the journey, okay? My Dark Goddess channel is the second part of the journey, and I'm really here for you guys on that channel. So let's jump into it, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, North Node, South Node, uh, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, you know, all of the houses and or any cross watcher. Your pre-shuffle, I saw that you had finally ended the cycle with that karmic. You finally ended a cycle with someone you thought was your twin flame or your soulmate. I'm not saying they weren't, but there was a cycle that you were in to where they would come in wanting your attention. You would think that they would give you the assumption or the impression that you guys were going to go to a higher level of commitment. They would ghost you. You wouldn't hear from them. And then they bait you, send you little texts like, I miss you. Send you little texts like, how come you haven't reached out to me? I haven't talked to you because I thought you didn't want to talk to me. A bunch of excuses. You finally um, got the clarity you needed on that person. And that shit is over with. Done. I do see this person wanted to have some type of control over you and control over your energy to where you are only giving your energy to them so that they would have a supply whenever they want it. This person is very abusive. All right, show me what's going on for Leo in September. Now that you guys have healed from that or you are healing from that and I'm very proud of you. I'm sending you all the love and encouragement that you could possibly want or need since i'm a leo you know we have big hearts so hopefully you can feel my love i'm sending to you leo gang leo sun moon rising venus anyone with leo in their chart and or any cross watcher y'all know i love y'all okay and really check out my dark goddess channel everything you need is in the description box so let's jump into it thank you ancestors and guys for giving me a message for leo leo sun moon rising venus and or any cross watcher for september september 2021 all right it says very soon, okay? Didn't I tell you very soon? We're done with that cycle. It's over. Kick the karmic to the curb. Y'all like that alliteration? Kick the karmic to the curb. That's that's called alliteration. Y'all know I, I love English. I love literature. Um, But very soon, you kick them to the curb. We're healing now. We're becoming ourselves, working on our weight, our diet, our eating, loving ourselves, getting our skin back glowing. Very soon, okay? Now that I got my mindset right and I remember who I am, okay, I'm going to clearly decide what I want. I clearly decide that I want this. I want that. I want um, my kingdom wife, my kingdom husband, right? Okay, so let's see what's going on in love for you for September, Leo. What's going on for Leo in September, please, ancestors and spirit guides? Wow, new love. So you guys, please check out the collective reading I did for you guys. It has the Virgo season um, thumbnail that's in all signs reading you got new love in this reading and you got new love in that collective reading as well so this new love is worth waiting for so divine timing is at work in your love life so since divine timing is at work in your love life it's going to be it's going to be a spiritual connection a divine connection one that's right on time and one that is ordained this is the one okay and this this new love is the one okay a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so and they're worth waiting for. They're not that toxic person from the past, okay? They're not that same old, same old, all right? This person is going to take their time with you. This That means worth waiting for. Leo, I know you have a lot of passion, and Leo says, well, I, me as a Leo, I'm like this too. Well, I know what I want. I know my feelings for you. Let's, let's get it cracking, right? No, it, it, it don't even have to be like that. I know what I want. I know that I like you. We're friends. I love our friendship. We're building our friendship. This is my boyfriend. And then I love my boyfriend, you know, this and that. And we're growing together, spiritual journey. We have such a great connection. 
okay boom my boyfriend has now become my husband you know stages worth waiting for because you never know who you are until you're put in a situation or circumstance not saying you never know who you are you know who you are but sometimes you you may not know how you'll react with people and situations is what i meant to say i'm sorry so show me leo i'm actually gonna use these cards for you show me leo yes leo leo got new love on deck so remember this could have already happened could be happening now could happen in the near future Ooh. okay so a new love could be entering into your life in september right or right before september or early november ain't no y'all know time is fluid we have divine timing worth waiting for right here so y'all already know okay show me leo please leo for september 2021 Leo, 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 Leo. Ooh. Leo, show me Leo. Spirit, show me Leo. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So Leo is working on their money. The family's good. The home is good. Job good. Look, job good. Home good. Body good. Okay. <laughs> Kids good. Everything in life is good. Okay, show me Leo. Seven of Wands, because you're protecting your energy. You're protecting your children, your home. You're protecting yourself, all right? We're not having sleepless nights because we connected to some evil-ass motherfucker having nightmares because you connected to a snake. I, I, Y'all, please check out the Dark Goddess channel. That It tells a little bit more about my uh, situations. I remember I was connected to this guy, this karmic guy. He, was, he had to be sent by the devil himself. I was having all types of night terrors and nightmares and I was having dreams about his life. And when I tell you, I don't know how I ever got caught up with somebody like that. Okay, it don't matter, I'm not judging anybody. But what I'm saying is, y'all know how fi when y'all finally realize and wake up and finally you're not under that spell no more, you ask yourself, what the fuck was I doing this whole time? How did I ever go through that you know we gonna keep going leo we gonna keep going leo because i see that you're not doing that no more with the seven of wands it's like okay i i'm hip to your game whether it's your job like i'm hip to your game you you can't you know do this to me job or i'm hip to your game um boyfriend girlfriend mom dad like i'm grown or whatever it is that you are standing by these are my morals and my values. I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking with it. I got my guards up because I'm protecting myself. I'm protecting this money. I'm protecting my peace. Look, we got the nine of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles. I'm good whether I'm in a relationship or if I'm single. But let me tell you this one thing. What's mine is mine. And y'all ain't finna take it. Y'all can't steal my joy. Y'all can't steal my, you know, my peace. Me and this this person this is a divine connection y'all like no i just hear you're not letting people whisper in your ear no more or that sense that doubt you know whispering in your ear no more that or that uh, sense of not being clear you know when you don't have clarity sometimes things start playing in your head that aren't real you're not let you're not allowing that no more you have clear direction and you have clear direction so now you can make that clear concise move forward you could be dealing with a cancer a virgo a taurus libra libra is not even out here but you could be dealing with the libra i don't know why i said libra you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn sun moon rising or venus virgo strongly cancer strongly clarify the seven of wands wow seven of wands you don't see this coming don't be defensive when this love come in, Leo. I see you, Leo, defensive than a bitch with the seven of wands. Like, nope, no spirit, no love, not, no. How, what? Leo, you're ready. You're ready, Leo. You ready. It's on now. We ready, okay? You don't see it coming. You like, I don't know. I'm, uh, my heart chakra is blocked. So whatever this Ace of Cups is, might just open that heart up. 
Look, I split the deck, nine of cups. This is something you don't see coming, and it's going to make you very happy. This is a person, place. Um, This is a person, job opportunity, money. You go into a place, like you... It just it just happens out of nowhere too. I see it just happening out of nowhere. Right? Show me Leo's person. So divine timing. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Wow. I saw the three of swords. Show me this person that's coming into Leo's life. Or that this new person that's worth waiting for, this new love, show me this person. This person could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They sexy too. I can already tell. This person is sexy. They're sexy to you. Okay. Uh, Leo, don't self sabotage this. That's why it's worth waiting for. You know what? Worth waiting for. I think this person will wait on you. They know that, you know what? Right right now, I have a lot of things going on. I just, Stella just got her groove back or, you know, return of the Mac. Mac just got his groove back and I got all these things lined up for me with the Ten of Pentacles. I have a lot of things lined up for me that's giving me all the stability I need and I'm going to protect that. Okay? I'm going to protect that. And you look good. You look good. I see multiple people seeing you look good. You're going to have to beat them off of you with a stick. Leo looks good in September. And you might meet new love. I see it. New love has came out twice with new love, this new love card, and the Ace of Cups. I see new money, too. This person got money. This person might have children. All right. This is your person right here, King of Wands, sexy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus don't have to be. They just have that energy. This person has good energy. Show me Leo's person. Queen of Cups. Yeah, they got good energy. They love you. They know how to love you, too. They're not brokenhearted. They're not stuck on their ex. They're not a narcissist. None of that. Show me Leo's person. Yeah. Look, this person is a Taurus or Libra. They mean business. This person means business. The whole, the dating, the friends, the, you know, friendship first, dating, courting, boyfriend, girlfriend, marriage, this person means business. Okay, Leo? So, Leo, that means it's up to you to not jump into anything too fast. Enjoy this. Because Leo say, you know what? I got that feeling in my heart. I love them. Yes, we're getting married today. That's Leo, okay? Don't do that, Leo. <laughs> if you want to do that, Leo, you need to get another Leo. You need to get another Leo. <laughs> Show me Leo's person. Now, I'm not going to lie. Leo Leo men be on some other shit. I'm not, I don't know. Leo men is weird. I'm not attracted to Leo men, even though I'm a Leo woman. Okay, we got the death card. This person is a Scorpio. And the tower. You don't see this person coming. The tower with the full card and the ace of cups again with the four of wands. This part, look, okay, this is what I see. This is what I'm going to tell you about this person. This person has a lot of love for you. They have a lot of love for themselves. They've healed that childhood trauma. This person is not like your ex. This is a brand new person with a lot of love to give. Queen of cups. Okay, this person is going to make you feel like a woman. They're going to make you feel like a man. You're not going to have to wonder how they feel about you. They will tell you and show you. Okay, this person has changed, gone through a transformation. This is somebody who wants, who you don't see things coming with. This is going to be a whole new journey. With the death card and oh, like ending everything you thought you knew about relationships. Because this is something divine right here. This is something divine. Taurus or Libra, this person is dating with a purpose, higher, higher level of commitment. They're dating to marry. You don't see this person coming, but it's up to you. This person has made all the changes they need to make. Now, I'm not. this person may trigger you because they might show you that there are some things that you need to change, Leo. They might show you that there are some things that you need to grow and be mature from. Like, you need to, ha like, 
Leo, may, you may feel a little immature compared to this person, okay? This person is your soulmate, your twin flame. I don't even say that shit. I do not say that shit. This person is your soulmate or your twin flame. With this four of wands, they're going to date you. You're going to have a celebration. A rela This is a relationship. I'm not talking about that situation ship of that on and off shit that you used to. Always wondering about this person. No, this is a relationship. So after, when this person comes into your life, you're probably not even going to listen to tarot no more. You're not going to need to. Okay? This person has a lot of love to give. This is a new person and this is a new journey. They're taking a leap of faith towards you. This person is going to be fun. Okay? You're not going to be second guessing about this person. They're going to be honest with you, honest communication. So the Two of Cups has came out twice. This is someone you're going to marry and have kids with. Okay, this person has their eye on you. This person always gets information first before they make moves. Always. So this person probably seen you already before, before you even saw them. All right, this person could be an Aquarius, someone rising or Venus. You are the star of this person's eye. This person is the star of your eye complete wish fulfillment this is the person you have been praying for or leo you are the person this you you're the person that they've been praying for with the star card leo i think you i think you might be scared to take this opportunity with this person because you haven't healed yet I feel like you've healed on that sense of you're stable now and you're getting your money together and that you're focused on your money, but I don't want you to use that as a coping mechanism to ignore the fact that you're still heartbroken, okay? Give me some advice for Leo. Your money looks great, Leo. Ten of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, your money looks great. You could be dealing with any sign. I saw Aquarius, Cancer, Virgo. I said Libra, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. I like I said Capricorn, Sagittarius. All right, give me some advice for Leo. Okay, four of pentacles. What they want you to do, open up or close off. Four, four could be important to you. Be open to this new love. Be open to it. We got the seven of wands again. Be open to this new love, but, but it's saying, Leo. Okay, I have to be completely honest. Leo has this, Leo has this thing to where... Leo is always open to the wrong people. Always. Leo always opens up to the wrong motherfucking people because you're too trusting. And now Leo doesn't want to trust anybody ever again. Spirit is saying don't do that. Don't do that. Spirit is saying you need to have discernment on who you can open up to and who you can't. This is this is a lesson for you. Having discernment. This is your um, advice. Have discernment on who to open up to and when to open up. I'm not lying. Here go the Ace of Swords. Have discernment, clarity on who to open up to. Y'all, y'all, and this is a new person. The Ace of Cups came out twice, and the Ace of Swords came out twice. This is a new person. This is not your ex. This is not your ex. This isn't your ex who came back and says, I've changed. I'm a new. No, no. No. No, Leo. Damn. Give me a card to close this reading for Leo. Y'all hard-headed. <laughs> Leo is hard-headed. Oh, okay, it's my ex coming back. He's changed. I knew he would change. No, Leo, I never said that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> why leo is like that sometimes you have to be like stern and a little mean to leo to finally like understand and get it through the head all right seven heavenly virtues and if and look 
if you are looking for your ex then this is not your reading okay for this is for this is for everyone else who is ready for new love okay a card to close this reading is the seven heavenly virtues okay so this is the seven so if you're christian this is the seven fruits of the spirit okay so the seven heavenly virtues are the keys to goodness okay so what this says is you you represent spiritual enlightenment divine knowledge and wisdom you have faith and believe in all that is good and meaningful you have a deep intuitive understanding of god the angels and the universal spirit you know the keys to goodness you are being asked to use this knowledge to empower and teach others what the seven heavenly virtues mean okay the first one is faith believe and trust in the right things hope believe that good will prevail charity unlimited loving kindness towards others fortitude never giving up justice being fair and equitable towards others patience accepting the grace to forgive temperance practicing self-control and moderation so have faith have hope be charitable have fortitude um justice have patience and temperance okay so these are the seven keys to goodness so practice these things to really love yourself and be and start allowing and to receive love because you know sometimes we say that we're ready for love and then when love comes we're like oh my god you know what is this or you know sometimes we may miss it right so seven heavenly virtues i love you leo book a personal reading with me follow me on all my social media subscribe to my second channel dark goddess um like share subscribe leave me a comment donate to the channel and y'all be safe bye bye